Writing has always been a necessity, a nerd for me. I guess it stems from my love of words, but also from my desire to uh, write stories, tell stories about what makes us human. I'm inspired by women's struggle for their right to be recognized as talented writers and to get published. It's a perseverance, the dedication and the stubbornness that keep me going. Women's writing matters because their voice matters. For centuries, there were men's muses at best, troublemakers at worst. They could only write, they could write only it had to be kept hidden, personal. They could be the object of man's writing, but they, can, they could never be active in their writing. A few years ago, I found out about this French poet, Marceline de Borde Valmore, who is considered as being one of the greatest French poets of the Romantic era. Yet, she's been completely forgotten, brushed aside, never studied in school, well, at least not in my time, because it wasn't acceptable that a woman could be a great poet. She writes in a, one of her poems, Woman, I do know, mustn't write, yet I write. And there is another poem that I started reading a while ago, and suddenly this tune began playing in my head, and I realized it was from a well-known song. Her voice got stolen. It wasn't acceptable for her to be recognized as a great poet, but it was acceptable for a voice to be stolen by a male singer and her song is extremely popular, or this song is popular. So for centuries, men have been telling women how to behave, how to look, and how to be. They have written what they think women are, but only women truly know who they are. No one can tell our story for us. No one will know better than us who we were. Our writing matters because our voice matters.